You know, one thing Governor Greg Abbott has proven is you can be an a-hole in a wheelchair big time because that's exactly what he is. So he's under a lot of fire right now because he put out recently, if you get violated, just go take a plan B pill. Go on about your business, right? So that comment about take a plan B pill is just not going over so well. So he has, you know, uh, you know, they got the abortion ban going on. And in Texas, there's no exception at all. Or even if it's in, incest, there's no exception. So he said, if, you know, you got an issue after you've been violated, take a plan B pill. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's as simple as that. So the Republican governor horribly thought out a solution for victims that have been violated was offered uh, during a radio segment that will air, actually it aired today. And it's the Lone Star Politics, the Texas Dallas Morning News first reported, we want to support those victims, but also those victims can access health care immediately, as well as reported, Abbott said, perhaps not realizing that this solution misses the fact that as recently as 2016, nearly 80% of victims that get violated, I can't say, you know, I can't say certain words, that's why I'm using violated, go unreported, according to the Justice Department. So, you know, the percentage of the women reporting it is low. And, and that, I believe, by accessing health care immediately, they can get the Plan B pill that can prevent a pregnancy from occurring in the first place. With regards to reporting it to law enforcement, that will ensure that the violator will be arrested and prosecuted. The GOP governor expanded before the Supreme Court decision to reverse Roe v. Wade came down in June, the Lone Star State still had some of the nation's most restrictive rules when it comes to performing the procedure. In the fall of last year, Texas passed a bill that outlawed the procedure. In most cases, after six weeks, when cardiac activity first began to be detected by clinicians in the embryo, making the ban um, referred to as the heartbeat bill. So Abbott, who's also facing a challenge, you know, he is being um, challenged by Beto O'Rourke this fall and has been called out by his opponent for having ineffective policies when it comes to tackling the state's crime and reproductive rights. Abbott signed the most extreme ban in the nation with no exception for rape or incest. The campaign spokesman, Chris Evans, in an interview with Dallas Morning News, the arrest rate for violators have fallen by nearly half since he took office and he allows over 3,000 untested kits, you know, those kits that police use after you're violated to collect dust and the state crime labs. All right, so O'Rourke, campaign spokesperson, uh, accused the, um, they made an accusation about the backlog and how the investigations are going in, you know, women getting violated in the state. It's not necessarily women, it's men and children too, right? So the local papers finding, they uncovered that within the Texas Department of Public Safety, there are 3,510 kits being tested across the state. 
So the list the outlet pointed out doesn't include two separate backlogs from Dallas County, which are not part of DPS. One of those kits uh, in the backlog dates back to 1996, and there are a, a thousand kits just sitting dormant. All right, so they're saying there are 900 kits that have been sitting around from 2011 to 2019. Yeah, that's a while. And um, yeah, that, that's kind of outrageous. All right. So emergency contraceptives, uh, particularly in a state where Medicaid does not cover it for low income individuals, um, individuals, I'm sorry, uh, is not widely accessible. Therefore, Plan B is really not, they're saying, effective at preventing unwanted pregnancies and is suspected to be even less so if you're a person who is overweight. Wow, I didn't know that. So if a person have a BMI of 30 or higher, then Plan B really is not that effective. Wow. I didn't know that. Did y'all know that? Let me know in the comment section. But see, I don't I don't take this stuff, you know. <laughs> I, I don't have to worry about, I'm at the point where I don't have to worry about Plan B. So anyway, according to a 2016 study, people with a BMI of 30 or higher had a significant lower level of effectiveness. Wow. Okay. Well, that's interesting to know. Yeah. So, you know, y'all let me know, what do you think about what this Texas governor is saying? You know, for people that get violated, you just go out and get yourself some plan B, you know, and then report the crime to the police. But, you know, like they said, if you have a BMI 30 or higher, then why would you need to go out and get plan B? It would not even work for you. So y'all, please tell me what you think. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. You know, this man seems really insensitive to me. I don't know, but y'all let me know in the comment section. Peace, family.